and welcome. I'm Cheryl from Retro Planner Co. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my March monthly spread planning. And I'm using my new customizable life planner in um, portrait mode. Um, I've just turned my iPad just so I could do split screen for a lot of the stickers. But um, this is it in portrait mode. It is an undated planner and I have easy ways to date it in my sticker sets I also have deco date dots which I love using so let's get started I am on an iPad Pro 12.9 inch with an Apple pencil in case you're curious so March is a crazy month because there are a lot of holidays in March um, and I was torn between like do I want to do a St. Patrick's Day green kind of March theme or do I want to do a spring Easter theme or oh my gosh so <clears throat> in the end for now I've settled on the March like green St. Patrick's Day type theme with some spring mixed in but I might even do a whole nother spread for Easter because I have some awesome beautiful cute adorable stickers <laughs> and I'm just torn right now in Colorado I mean we're still kind of in winter we're we're having some little speckling of warm days um, our rainy season has not started and we just got like a snow squall a random huge blizzard the other day that lasted like just you know part of the day and then melted off so I'm not quite ready to jump into spring yet I mean mentally I am but for my location I'm really not so let's get started on the spread I think first we're going to I'm going to start by dating it and for this planner or for this spread I'm probably gonna use a whole lot of different sticker sets um, I'm in the process of revamping my stickers so I'll be using the March uh, freebie set which has a lot of the important days in March the days of the week um, yeah I'll probably use this set as well <clears throat> the, the main set I'm gonna be using is the March sticker set which has a whole lot of green going on in it and I think I'll go ahead and open this one up in split view I have this opened up now in split view so I can access the stickers pretty easily I'm gonna go ahead and date this planner first the easy way to do that first I need to turn on my images selection on my lasso and I'm gonna circle copy and paste over to my planner okay so I just imported in all my dates um, all at once I have the images selection turned on on my lasso which I will be turning off here in a minute and I'll show you why and I'm going to resize them all at once so they're kind of all the same size make sure they're fitting on the little dots which they are and then from here I can just start kind of lassoing and dating so we have three here and I just kind of do them one at a time. I know there's probably shortcuts and hacks. So if you don't want the deco dates, um, if you don't really care for deco dates on your on your planner, you want it more basic, um, and you're using this digital life planner, this planner comes with pre-dated overlays that you can just easily just layer over top of your spread and be done dating your planner. But I'm a bit much, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed things up and date my planner real fast hey now that I've dated my planner I like to date it first just because um, that way I'm not lassoing and grabbing anything from behind which I have kind of a workaround for that as well but I'm going to go ahead and cover up this bottom row. Our customizable life planners um, have six weeks in them because, you know, different months start on different days and you'll need different, you know, you need these boxes in the bottom. So to cover up this bottom row right here, I'm just going to, while I'm on my lasso tool, I'm going to circle a white area of the planner, tap, take screenshot. And then while you're here, you click on the share icon and just click copy. You don't have to save it to your camera roll or anything just click copy and then long press paste and you have this handy dandy little white erasing box so now that is covered up and I have this whole area down here to work with 
Um, you're also going to be using, I think from within the same set, I'm gonna go ahead and put my background piece in. Actually, it's not in this set. It is in the Rainy Day sticker set, I believe. I have this really cute background that's semi-transparent that I don't want to use in this planner. It has this, it has lots of green in it, so it's good for, you know, the St. Patrick's Day kind of vibe. So I'm just going to paste that in here. And then I have a handy dandy way to um, keep from grabbing this sticker. So you notice if you're on lasso and you have images turned on, anytime you kind of lasso, if I want to try to move something, it's always going to grab this back layer, um, which I will actually right now send to the back. Um, it's always going to kind of grab that layer. Although, yep, no, it's not doing it today. I have noticed there's the glitch going on lately, for me anyways, that a lot of times if I send my sticker to the back, it it's almost like flattening it where, and maybe they're testing something out. I don't know. One can hope and we can cross our fingers. But if I send it to the back, a lot of times it's just making it where I can't grab it anymore, which is great. I mean, that's all well and good, but then it'll also sometimes just randomly disappear. So I don't know what's going on with that. So if that happens to you, um, I've just been like closing out the app, closing out all the windows and then reopening it. Um, and then it, uh, oh, rainy days right here. There it is. Anyways, and then it, um, it resets itself. But to keep from grabbing any of your background kind of layers, I have gone into my settings in my document editing. I have turned off the feature um, of basically where you just tap to select things with your, it'll switch to the lasso and just tap to select. Um, I've turned that off. And then also in the lasso, I've turned off images. And so now I mostly use my image tool when I'm moving stickers and everything. So you can, that you can just kind of tap and move things on purpose or just kind of individually tap. And then if you lasso text or whatever to move it around, it's not gonna grab that back layer. So I'm gonna keep those settings on for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my banner here up top. I really like these um, daisies and it's a mix of daisies and shamrocks. Um, let me go ahead and turn off my thing on there too. Um, mix of daisy shamrocks and or, uh, what are they called? Four leaf clovers in this March set. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this washi up top, cover up that March. I mean, it looks fine as is, but I really like the March gold balloon kind of text that is, that is in this set here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that over. So you notice like instead of using my lasso, I'm just trying to grab that text behind. Instead of using my lasso to kind of move things over, now I'm just using my image cop and tapping copy paste. It just, I found it works a lot better for me to not accidentally grab a hold of stuff that's like behind everything. But when I do that, when I copy and paste, it automatically switches it back to this lasso tool, which kind of bugs me. I want it to stay on the tool that I was previously on. So I have to remember, to go back to my image tool, tap. Plus, if you drag it, drop it over and it switches to that lasso, sometimes it brings it in crooked. So I just prefer to use my la my uh, image tool to kind of keep things on the straight and narrow. So there's my March banner up top. So I'll go ahead and label my um, holidays. I have a freebie set um, that if you subscribe to my newsletter, it's the link is in the bottom of each newsletter. And so this just has a lot of the, the holidays and stuff for Easter, which there is so many. So in this uh, March set, I have this adorable little tote, which I'm gonna use for like my shopping reminder. It could be like a beach tote or whatever, diaper bag, I don't know, but um, I like it for my grocery shopping. So that needs to be done probably tomorrow. And what I'm gonna do here, I've gone ahead and added my text um, that I know I'm gonna use a lot, like this grocery shop. I added it to my elements. So I'll show you real fast how I did that. Make it a little bit bigger. So basically I just created my text. 
think it might have been Honey Script. Let's try that. Yep, Honey Script. And then I did another one. Um, oh, maybe it was. Let me try that. Yep, it was that one. So I just created it like ahead of time and got it all resized where I wanted it. Okay, so I want to get it to where I want to have it. Lasso it, tap, and then tap this extender here. And then add element, and it'll just add it right up to your elements, which I am not going to do that because I've already done it. So let me turn off my images. So I'm going to select this, copy, and I'm just going to paste it in for the remainder of my shopping days for the month which normally is on Thursday, unless it's the first of the month. By the way, am I the only one that hates going shopping the first of the month? My husband gets paid monthly, and so we're kind of forced to do that. But the stores are so busy. <laughs> They're so busy and crowded, and because, like, everybody who gets paid monthly gets paid first of the month, and we're all in the store together, and it drives me crazy. Um, let's see, so... So I think instead of instead of doing the well, I could just do the copy paste on that too. I normally I would just lasso the whole thing and copy paste, but since I have this background on here, I can't do that with my lasso right now. So I'm just gonna copy and paste my grocery shops in there. And it's nice about putting it in the elements is you know it just saves your formatting and the size and everything. So it's really fast just to kind of stick your regular stuff in there. I have in the everyday icons set, I have this really cute little church sticker here. So I'm gonna grab that. And paste it in, but I don't want the, um, I don't want the text on it. So I'm just gonna keep on my image tool. I'm gonna crop it, crop the text out of there. I'll probably crop it down nice and small. And now I can just copy and paste this into my church days. So I'm just going to use this existing text combination that I have, the font combination, and just use that for the rest of my labeling that I have to do. And change that to meat. And change the grocery to swim. And so I know we have, I'm gonna have to make that a little bit bigger too. So I know we have a swim meet here and I'm not even exactly sure where it's at. Oops. I know you just called me like yesterday. Hey mom, I got a swim meet this weekend. <laughs> so, all right, I know we'll have to travel. I just don't know exactly to where I don't even know the time times of those so I'm just going to leave those in as they are for my weeks I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit extra for my weeks because that's how I roll so I think on the top of like these the monthlies I'm just going to do like just a letter over top you could like kind of do this where you're like layering it but I'm going to just kind of crop it down and just use the first letter and just stick it up top I like that so give me a minute to do that and I'll just play some happy music for you while you wait Now I'm going to go ahead and add in um, some of my appointments that I know I have going on. So I'll still use this March monthly set. And let's see, I know I have mm, like a green, oh, the glitter. You know I got to use the glitter. All right, so 
I'm gonna use these for my um, appointment boxes. That's all for appointments. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'll just keep on my, I think it's from Pixie, Blog Pixie. I'm gonna have Planner Babe font. I'll just use that one for my appointments. So I'm gonna add in some little pretty, I'm gonna use some of the deco elements from this March set, but again, I'm gonna use them kind of as icons, as more functional. So I know there's balloons in here. There's that one. Hmm. These, I like these. I'm gonna use these for the birthdays. I'm gonna use some of the icons from the Love in Paris set just because they have kind of a pink pink and greenish vibe. Um, again, I don't have matching icons right now for the March set because I am switching the way I kind of do my stickers. So I'm just gonna copy some of these out of here and use them in this planner. I struggle with um, chronic pain and chronic fatigue and like for years I just put up with it and I was busy with life and I didn't want to quote unquote do stuff for myself so I just I didn't bother with it but now that my kids are you know two are grown and one's still here but I decided I need to start focusing a little bit more on my health so I started getting regular massages and it was oh well, I'm not gonna say game changer because I hate that word but it's it's amazing. It's really helped with my fatigue. It's helped with my, um, ah, really sure. It's helped with my pain. It's just helped on so many different levels. Plus I get like my massage therapist, it, <laughs> I get free counseling because <laughs> she's, uh, it, she didn't start out this way. It, the first few visits, she was quite quiet as was I. And I do kind of like that sometimes just going in and just like, leave me alone, be quiet. Let me just let me focus on relaxing. Um, but now we kind of share things and chat and it's kind of nice because I don't know, it's just, it's like built-in therapy. So for the price of a massage, I get built-in therapy. Um, switching over to my rainy day sticker set because I want to do, I have to give my dogs baths. They are, I have two large dogs and they just get so, they're indoor dogs, but they get really smelly fast. And so I'm trying at least once a month to give them baths. But when I did this cute little bathtub, I'm like, oh no, I have to use that for my dog bath. So I have this little wet dog. I'm gonna put him in there. Ah, he's huge. In fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and like crop him. So. All right, guy, take off your bottom half. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna like stick him in here and then I'm gonna, let's see, bring this one to the front. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, so there's my dog bath reminder. I do, you know what, I went, ha, ah, my brain. I went in here to look for the wallet sticker and I got completely sidetracked. So now I'm gonna try to find the wallet sticker. I know I have, ah, right here, okay. For paydays, which as I said is the first and last of the month. I've been thinking, thinking about doing like budgeting kind of videos, like plan with me's, <clears throat> but quite honestly, <laughs> I'm a hot mess when it comes to budgeting, which is ironic because I used to operate a um, kind of personal finance site. Although it was more, I think we get paid on this day because this is holiday. Um, it was more of a like 
make money from home because I've worked online for years now. Um, so that was kind of more my focus. But budgeting, I did have to do some articles on budgeting and I had to heavily research those. And I love researching. That's one of my favorite things to do. But I really suck at budgeting. So I'm thinking in order to hold myself a little bit more accountable um, of doing kind of, I'm going to go ahead and close this one up, of doing more uh, budgeting kind of plan with me. I wouldn't disclose like everything because I'm still a rather private person, but I don't know. I think that'd be fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to not use that one. Let's see. I do have a new line of stickers um, that I am incorporating now into my lineup. And so that is the weekly overlay um, stickers. And they are kind of designed so you can customize spreads and everything, your um, weekly, monthly, daily, however you want to do it. So I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use the squares in here. So now instead of including a lot of these shapes in my regular sticker sets, I'm going to just um, have these colored weeklies that are colored overlays that match the um, that month's kind of set, if that makes sense. So I'm going to copy this. I only want like this green box because it kind of matches the green vibe I have going on. So I'm going to enlarge it, switch over to my photo tool, and I'm just going to crop to where I get this box right here. And this is, and some of these are semi, they're available in semi-transparent and solids. This is the solid. So I'm just gonna crop out this um, rectangle and it has these rounded corners. And I'm gonna flip it around and resize it and kind of get it to fit right here. I know I wanna do one, one for home and one for work kind of tasks. Um, cause I'm really good about either, either like busting it out on the home stuff or busting it out on the work stuff, which lately it's been work stuff and my home is greatly suffering. So I'm trying to remind myself, Hey, you know, your home exists too. And to do, um, more of my home stuff. So I think I'm going to use these little cute little shamrock. Uh, I actually had to look up the difference when I was making these sets between shamrocks and four leaf clovers. I always thought they were just, shamrocks were another name for four leaf clovers. They're not, they're completely different, different plants. Now you know, now you can say, hey, this is what I learned today. So I'm gonna put my little checklist here. I'm just gonna set up this one and then I'm gonna copy and paste it over. And I think I'm gonna use, not these, I'm done with that. I'm gonna use the um, essential text stickers just the print font. So I have one here for home. I'm going to copy that one over. And maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the text here. I'll probably just use that Planner Babe font, which is set to my default font. And put in a few home related tasks, which I know I need to work on spring cleaning, which stay tuned because um, I have a new sticker set coming out in the next couple weeks that will be focused on spring cleaning. And I'm just gonna hit uh, return and I'm just gonna write out or type out all my to-dos. Not worry about the spacing right now, I'm just gonna get the text in there. Hopefully the weather will cooperate and we can get to work on our yard. We started, last year we started xeriscaping it. Um, because our water bills are like the highest, oh, they're definitely the highest in the state, um, even higher than like the big cities. But so I'm like, well, I need to, we need to reduce our water bill because it's getting crazy. I mean, it's like a hundred and now it's like $150 a month and it's just um, three of us in the house. And, you know, we don't have like a bathtub or, you know, a pool or anything that we would use in a, any large amount of water. But, um, so I decided we zero escaped. I cannot, I cannot plan and talk at the same time. <laughs> I either do one or the other. And then I'll finish my story of zero escaping. Hold on. Okay, let's get that kind of where I want it, where all the text will fit. Notice it's not lined up to my little shamrocks. These are shamrocks, not four leaf clovers. I'm going to highlight all my text. 
And then I'm going to click this little like justification thing. Oh, every time I do that, it just, and then I'm going to, I guess I don't need to highlight my text. Kind of space it out. I guess I probably need to add a space in between. Yeah, I need to add a space in between. And now it is lined up and I can just copy this and um, paste this over and do my work one. So about the xeriscaping, so we laid down a bunch of rock and um, mulch and just did kind of all that wonderful stuff. And then um, my, we got a puppy, <laughs> puppies and rocks. I guess don't really mix. Um, his, him and my older dog, they just kind of, they run around and they like run laps all around the yard. And yeah, they've torn up quite a bit of it. So needless to say this year, we need to come up with kind of a different plan. Um, I would normally just lasso all this, copy and paste, but since I have this background sticker, I'm not going to turn on my image lasso. I'm just going to copy it over little by little. So let me copy my text over. Anyway, so all that work to save money on the water bill. My water bill, never, in fact, my water bill went up because the rates increased. Um, why are you not copying my... Oh, I forgot. That is an image. I thought I had text there. Um, so my water bill actually went up and... Because I found out, I called the water company. I'm like, hey, we did all this work and we uh, put in all the rock and we're not using water and what's going on? And they're like, oh, yeah, we have like a minimal tier, like a tier system. So basically, regardless of how much you use, if you use like five to 50 gallons, you're in this one tier. So we're just still in the same tier no matter what. So whatever. We don't have to mow anymore. So that's kind of nice. But... It, yeah, so overall it was it was worth it as far as that goes. So I'm just going to go in and change these for my work. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of decorative elements. Like I have in the March freebies, I have this really cute, ah, shoot, still on the deck stool. In the March freebies, I have this really cute bunny. So I'm going to bring him in. And I wanted to kind of have them maybe peeking up behind this stuff. So I'm just going to kind of resize where I want them. But I can't block off like the... Oh, maybe I could do it like from the side over here. Oh my gosh, that'll be adorable. Okay, I could just like send him... If I send them to the back, it's going to put it behind this background. So I think instead what I'm going to do is crop him. Sorry, bunny. Off with the head. And then just kind of... I don't know, I want that kind of illusion that he's like peeking out from behind everything. But I also can't block my stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, there he is. <laughs> he's peeking out there. Um, and then I want something kind of decorative to fill in here. So I'm going to go back and look at my green, green stickers. Cause I really do love those daisies and shamrock kind of arrangements. So I think I'm going to do this one right here. And just make it nice and big. Maybe have it coming off the page. Ooh, like that. So, I mean, I could just crop it or I could just leave it like that. And now I'm done. Thanks for putting up with my rambling and my spacey brain today. Portrait mode, trying that out for a change, which is a way different kind of planning as I've done landscape forever. But here we go. This is the end result. I'll see you next time.